Tuesday. Welcome back to another crumble video. So I was actually going to film yesterday because um, this lineup this week is like fire, you guys. We have still been sick. Uh, we are getting better, but we're still sick. I don't know what is going on, but this virus is literally just lingering and it's just like taking forever to go away. And Tabitha, she um, I had to take her to the hospital Sunday night and then again yesterday because she was running a high fever. She had something happen to her. It like scared the crap out of me. She was shaking and her nails were turning blue. I didn't know what the heck it was. I thought it was like maybe a febrile seizure. I thought it was, but they said it wasn't. They said more than likely she was just having chills from her fever. But as a mom, obviously it scared the crap out of me. Um, I was really scared. I didn't know what was going on. She had one of those Sunday night, I think it was like after midnight. And then she had another one of them yesterday in the afternoon. I had to take her to the hospital. They said they think it might be an ear infection, maybe coming from the virus that we have. Um, so they did give her antibiotics. They said just keep up with her pain meds. Um, I don't think it's an ear infection because she doesn't have any drainage coming out of her ear and her pediatrician said that a lot of times they kind of just like misdiagnose people they say you need an antibiotic and you might not always so you guys it's just a lot been going on with um us with tabitha you know we don't know for sure what anything is but it's just like you don't know what they're putting in the air it's crazy and literally we've been sick four times this year but she's doing a little bit better today you guys um she's been like running around playing eating a little more because she wasn't really eating much so fingers crossed that she will get better um she is sleeping now so if she does wake up then i just take her out and just hold her but we will see how we do but you guys i missed yesterday so let's get into this week's cookies so where we are right now in pennsylvania we are actually having a really nice week it's like in the high 70s but in the car it's hot and i can't film with the air on because then you would hear like all this like muffleness in the background so i have to turn my air off and it's really hot in the car but it is a nice day out uh, but if i sweat just bear with me <laughs> but this is the new one i actually think this is new but I'm not sure if anyone knows for sure leave me a comment down below letting me know is this new because I thought it was new but now that I'm looking at it I don't know if it is but it's called cinnamon scone so this is a butter cookie with like cinnamon and then it has like a cinnamon buttercream frosting and it's warm kind of reminds me a lot of like the cinnamon fry bread I'm wondering if it's that cookie but they just changed the name because it reminds me a lot of that but I'm not really sure um and Perry did say that he wants this cookie, so we're not gonna bite them, we're gonna break them. But since this has the buttercream, I'm gonna try to get some buttercream on my piece. And I put the buttercream on it, I pushed it kind of towards the center, cause that's what you gotta do with the ones that have the buttercream in the center, like the, uh, cornbread I think it is and then the pancake and the waffle because they always have the buttercream in the center and I can't really taste a whole lot but my taste and my smell is slowly starting to come back by the way she tested negative for COVID and RSV so we don't have COVID they said it was just a flu bug so we can taste but <clears throat> our nose was just congested but let's see if we could taste this looks good Mm -mm. I couldn't taste it a lot, so I'm sorry. I don't know how accurate this review is going to be, but I'm not really picky with the cookies, so probably I like most of them. I normally do, and this week looks really good. Funny, because I can smell more than I can taste. But it tastes good from the little bit I can taste. It's very buttering. Um, I love this cinnamon buttercream. It's not really like an overly sweet cookie, but what makes it sweet is this buttercream. And like I always say, when you get the cookies, like the waffle or this one, and the ones that have the buttercream in the center, definitely like push it to the front to get like an even amount of frosting in your bite. This is good. Um, 
I think I'll give this cookie an 8 out of 10. And then the other cookies are not new. And again, I don't know if that one was new because it doesn't look new. But I think they just changed the name of the cinnamon fry bread to cinnamon scone. So it's probably not new. So then in that case, none of the cookies are new. So the next one is cookie dough. They've had this a lot of times. This is a brown sugar based cookie with brown sugar frosting and then real cookie dough pieces and little mini chocolate chips. And this is chill. Yeah, I always love this one. I'm gonna get a bite of the cookie dough, push it towards the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Um, Because it is warm out, the chilled cookies are kind of warming up and I actually prefer them warm. Like it's a nice concept to have them chilled, but I think that I like them better when they're a little bit warmer just because they're a little softer sometimes the chill cookies you can't really cut them or break them um but if you like them chilled definitely when you get home pop them in your fridge and they'll be just as good as they were when you first got them this is really good i'm gonna give this a 10 today cookie dough it's always one of my top 10 favorite crumble cookies but sometimes i haven't liked it as much as other times because you know crumble they're always changing up their recipes and like depending on who is working there. Sometimes they'll have a good cookie one day, but the next time it won't be good. But today I really like this. I'm gonna give this a 10. Next up is the lemon bar. So this is supposed to be reminiscent of a lemon bar. It is a sugar cookie that is supposed to be lemon flavored. And then it has like a lemon curd on top and then a little bit of powdered sugar. Um, some of y'all probably got more powdered sugar because crumble, again, depending on who's working there, some people put like more or less of the garnishes on top but let's try it I'm not the biggest fan of lemon stuff but I don't hate it this one I can taste I don't know if it's because of the lemon but I can taste this one it's giving lemon meringue pie vibes and it really does taste just like a lemon bar I don't typically go for lemon stuff. Very refreshing for the spring and the summer. I think this is gonna be my least favorite cookie, but it's not bad. I gave it like a seven out of 10. Next up, we have the chocolate cupcake. So this is warm. This is a sugar cookie with chocolate frosting and then chocolate sprinkles. So they've had this a lot of times before as well. And this is also one of my favorite probably like my top 15 favorite crumble cookies this is good and from what i remember this tastes just like the frosting that you get like out of the jars of the grocery store and they have an all chocolate cupcake and then they have this one i think i always like this one better because it does have some vanilla in there it's like the best of both worlds Mm-hmm. so good. I feel like Crumble, they have like three different types of frostings. They have the light frosting, or sorry, four different types. They have this kind of frosting, it tastes like it's out of a can. They have the cream cheese frosting, they have the buttercream frosting, and then they have like their whipped frosting, like the one that you get on the pies and that was on the strawberry pretzel. But this one, something about it, I mean, you'll know I prefer the cream cheese the best, but something about this one, it's good because it's like grocery store vibes, but a little better. And I love how a crumble, whatever the name is of their cooking, how so many times they actually do end up tasting like the actual dessert. Like this tastes just like a cupcake and I am here for it. This gets a nine out of 10. If you like chocolate and vanilla and you don't know which one you like better, that might be your cookie because it's not super rich like the uh, all chocolate cupcake is, but it's like the perfect balance of like vanilla and then chocolate. I actually 
That one is really good. This is Monster. This is a classic at Crumble. So this is a like a kitchen sink type of cookie. It's got oats, M&Ms, and then semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I think it has peanut butter chips in it as well. And that's what the inside looks like. This one's extra warm. And all the chocolate chips and the peanut butter chips and even the M&Ms are like super melty. Mm -hmm. So this one, it's funny because even though it has a lot in the cookie, it's still kind of like basic for me. And I think it is for a lot of people, but this cookie like if you're looking for like a good kitchen sink type of cookie this will be it this has the best of everything in it like m ms chocolate chips peanut butter chips oats i don't taste the oats that much i kind of don't even know they're in there mostly what i'm getting is the peanut butter chips and the chocolate chips but i think i like this better today than I have in the past. I think I'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, my crumble for like the last two months or so, they have been having like bonus cookies. So they have a couple from the previous week, but normally, like I said before, when you go in person, you can always find like a couple from the previous week when you order in the store, but you don't see that on your phone. But recently, I don't know if it's just my location or if you guys have it too, let me know. When you order from your phone, because I always do curbside, I am now seeing a couple cookies from the previous week on my phone as well. But they also have like a bonus cookie, I want to say. Not a mystery cookie, not anything from the previous week, but they have what I'm calling like a bonus cookie. So this week it's red velvet, not on the menu from last week. It's just like a bonus cookie they've been having. And I think it's so exciting. So let me know, like, do you have that at your location? Because the one week, I think it was the Tres Leches, and I didn't get it on a Monday, and I was so disappointed. Because usually the bonus cookies, they only have on Mondays, but today they still had it. And I'm happy since we didn't get them yesterday. I love red velvet. It's just a red velvet based cookie with cream cheese frosting and then little red velvet cake crumbs on the top. Mm-hmm. And you'll know why I love this cookie so much. Because it has that cream cheese frosting. None of the cookies this week had cream cheese frosting, but this one does. So I was like, I have to get that. It's so good. Every time. Mm-hmm. The outside is crispy, and the inside is nice and soft. And for today's coffee, I got a cold brew from Dungan. And I added mocha and then a hazelnut shot and cream and it tastes just like chocolate milk. It is so good. I don't really like mocha that much in my coffee, but every now and again, I do like it. And I was looking for like a new coffee order because normally I get the butter pecan, but today I was like, let me try something different. And while I don't get mocha a lot, I was kind of in the mood for something chocolatey today. So I was like, let me try it. And that one, it is really good. It tastes like a chocolate milk, but with caffeine, it's good. Okay, so now, if you can see, it's time to rate what we ate. So I'm not gonna rank the red velvet one because it wasn't technically on the menu. And I'm sorry about the sun glare, you guys. The sun's like pouring in right now and it's hot. But I'm not gonna rank the red velvet one because it wasn't on the menu, but I would honestly put that at number one if it was on the menu because it is just so good. It's always definitely one of my favorites but as far as the other five i'm gonna say last place is gonna go to the lemon bar lemon is okay but it's not one of my favorite flavors so that's gonna be last place for me but i think if you enjoy lemon you're gonna like that because it definitely tastes just like a real lemon bar i think next up i'm gonna say the monster cookie it's pretty basic but i think that for those that just want like a simple chocolate chip cookie maybe a little bit fancier than a chocolate chip cookie that might be for you it was good but i'm getting mostly peanut butter 
which isn't bad, but I just like the other cookies better. Third place, I'm gonna say, I was gonna say the cinnamon fry bread. They called it cinnamon scone, but you guys, I think this is the cinnamon fry bread cookie, basically. Um, it just changed the name, but third place is gonna be the cinnamon fry bread. Um, that cookie, I think that's really good, but I think I like the other two better. And then second place is gonna be the cookie dough. And then first place is gonna go to the chocolate cupcake. I just love the chocolate cupcake. It, um, to me, tastes just like actual cupcake. And I feel like any other cookies that have the word cupcake in it taste like cupcakes. This is really good. So um, that's my rating for this week's crumble cookies, you guys. Hope that y'all have a good week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.